Okay, so I had that one break talking with the student. Now I'm back and I'll help try and do a few more problems here. So it says convert the numeral to a numeral in base 10. So again, um, for each of these conversions, all we want to do is take the number, or at least the way I do it, is I take the number, I write it vertically. And then I say, okay, this means three times 16 to the zeroth power, which is anything to the zeroth power is one. And then six times 16 to the first power, and then five times 16 squared, and then two times 16 cubed. And you want to add those up. Okay, so this is just like what we do with base 10. If you saw two, five, six, three in base 10, you would say three times 10 to the zero plus six times 10 to the one plus five times 10 squared and two times 10 cubed. So anyways, two times 16 cubed plus five times 16 squared plus six times 16 plus three. And rather than work that out by hand, what I then do is just plug it into a calculator or you know Google has a built-in calculator. So I will just plug that into Google. I'll say two times 16 cubed plus five times 16 squared plus six times 16 plus three. Okay. So if you don't have a calculator handy, you can just type that into Google and you should get nine, five, six, nine, five, seven, one, sorry. I'll plug that in and see how it, that's right. Okay, good. So now next question. Let me clear my annotations here. Okay, uh, 34, we want to write it in base seven. So this is going to be doing a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to start with 34 in base 10, and we're going to convert it into base seven. And so what you need to do now is you need to figure out what is the largest power of seven that divides 34. Um, seven squared is 49. So let me just write this down. Seven squared is 49. So that's too big. Okay. And so I know that the, the largest power of seven will be seven, right? That divides 34. So what's 34 divided by seven? Um, well, thir seven times five is 35. So I think the, the largest product of seven I can get is four times seven, which is 28, right? So 34 minus 28 will give me six, okay? And so what this means is that four can be written as four times seven plus six times seven to the zero, six times one, okay? So that means that I want to now write this in base seven as 46, okay, so stop. So hopefully that's clear that what we're doing is dividing by the largest power of seven and then looking for the remainder and writing the remainder in a smaller base. Maybe I'll do a similar question just to give you more practice. So 10 base seven, um, let me clear my annotations. Okay, so 10 base seven, well, 10 can be written as seven, well, one times seven, and then there'd be a remainder of three, so that'd be three times seven to the zero. So that'd be 13. So 13 base seven is the same as 10. Plug that in there. Okay. Now, question seven says use divisions to convert this 102 base 10 to something base three. Okay. Clear my annotations. All right. So, 102. So, let me just start writing out powers of three first. So, I have one, three, three squared is nine, three cubed is 27, three to the fourth is 81. Okay, so 102 can be written as 1 times 81 plus, and so what's the remainder there? Um, 21, 102 minus 81 is 21, I think. And so 21 can be written as 2 times 9. Okay. So 21 is less than 27, so I didn't use that. Oh, but I should write it, so I'm going to write 1 times 81, which is 3, three to the 4th, 3 raised to the 4th, plus 0 times 27, which is 3 cubed, plus 2 times 9, which is 
squared. And so then I would have a remainder of three. So that would be one times three plus zero times one. And so as a digit, that's or as a base as a base three number, that's one. Sorry for that handwriting. One zero two one zero. Okay, so this is the three to the zero power. This is the three to the first. This is three squared. This is three cubed, and that's three to the fourth. So hopefully I did all that right. Let me plug it in and see. So one zero two one zero. Check in. So good. Um, let me go back and do a similar question. Okay, uh, clear annotations. Okay, 118 base 3. So, same game I had. I knew that 81 was 3 to the fourth. That'll be the largest power that divides uh, 118. And then 27 is 3 cubed, 9 is 3 squared, 3 is 3 to the first, and 1 is 3 to the zero. Okay, so 118 is 1 times 81, and then the remainder would be what? Um, 118 minus 81 is 7 and 3, is that right, 37? Yeah, I think so. Um, it should be 37, I think. So I need to write 37, well, that would be... 37 will be 10 plus 27. So I'm going to do 1 times 27. Then I'll have a remainder of 10. So maybe I should write down the remainders when I'm doing this. So 118 minus 81 was 37. And then 37 minus 27 is a remainder of 10. Now 10 can be written as uh, 1 times 9 with a remainder of 1. And so that would be 0 times 3 to the first, right? Because 1 is less than. So I still have a remainder of one, and then I would have one times one. Okay. So as a digit, I think this is one, 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 zero, one. That's expression base three. Cool. All right, now I'm gonna move on to the next one. And it's a little bit of a review from the last section. <clears throat> so what this says is, um, write one, two, nine, five, four in the Hindu or sorry, in the Babylonian numerals. Well, remember that the, that the Babylonian numerals are, go base 60. So this is some number times 60 to the zero. This is some number times 60 to the first. And then this is some number times 60 squared. So what you have to do is take one, two, nine, five, four and figure out the largest power of 60 that will divide it. And um, in this case, it's 60 squared. So this is one where I'm gonna have to definitely use calculator or Google. So I have one, two, nine, five, four, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide by 60 squared. Okay, I get 3.5, Nine eight three. So what that means is that three times sixty squared is the largest power of sixty squared that is less than one two nine five four. So what you can do now is say, can ask what is one two nine five four minus three times sixty squared. That gives you a remainder of two one five four. Okay, so when I go back, what I just figured out is that. One, two, nine, five, four, minus three times sixty squared is two one five four. Okay, so that's that's sixty squared goes into one two nine five four three times with a remainder of two thousand one hundred fifty four. And so that's why one of the right answers is gonna be the Babylonian numeral for three. So it's gonna be one of these three down guys, okay. This would be 30 and that would be right. So it's one of these, just looking at that first bit of math. And now I'm gonna do the same thing. I have two, one, five, four, 
And I want to know how many times does that go into, or does 60 divide that? So stop annotating. 2154 divided by 60 gives me 35.9. So that tells me that this should be a 35 times 60. Okay. So 2154 minus 35 times 60 is going to give me some number less than 60. It gives me 54. So that's my remainder. And then that tells me this last digit needs to be 54. So I'm looking for a 3 and then a 35. So 3, these are 35s, good. Um, this one's not a 35, that's a 53. And that one's a 53. So those ones are out. So now I'm down to these two options. So I have a three and then a 35. And then one of these two options, right? Well, which one's which? This is 45 and this is 54. So the correct answer was B. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. That's um, one, two, nine, five, four is equal to three times 60 squared plus. Um, 35 times 60 plus 54 times 1. So it's really like what we've been doing. It just uses the, uh, the little hashes or arrows, like the Babylonian system. Okay, so let me just confirm to you that that's true. 3 times 60 squared plus 35 times 60 plus 54 is 1, 2, 9, 5, 4, if we want. Okay, so the last few questions um, are, are similar. There's videos that you can watch to walk you through them. So I'm not gonna do those. Um, and I deleted one question that I thought was um, confusing, converting binary into, into words or something. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So um, hopefully that helps. Have a good day. I'll see you guys on Thursday.